Right. Yeah. Right. No, it's not. It's not. So, all right. So, it hooks up to the wood bag the same way as you would do it with regular like, woods. Spike your bag. All right. So then, there's three caps you have to switch out as you're flushing them. down. Which is silly, but they all have little kind of like cap caps on them. Uh, so two of them are for the middle and one's for the end cap, which you really don't need uh, for the most part. So you get these two. The difference is that uh, they're going to be a different color, but these ones have a through hole in them and these ones do not. They're just like a dead end hole. Um, and the reason for that will be apparent. Um, so this is obviously for the connector here. So there's three caps along the path. This one right here. This one right here, they're both with the little three-way stopcocks, and then the end one right here. So you just go from kind of proximal to distal. Um, so you take that cap off, you want to turn it off to the far end so that the bag is connected through that three-way and then goes out through the side port. And in order to get it to do that, you want to set this up so that it's actually inflated. And not actually go anywhere because this is actually the valve that's stopping it. In some, it's a little squeezy side thing, but in this particular setup, it's a it's a whole thing, which is super weird, but it actually works. Right, set that to hold, and then find something you dislike, and pull, and it should start flowing out until it scores somewhere. And so that is now flushed from the top to there. And then you turn it off to the side port. Oh, sorry, I turned it off. Um, sorry. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, so then turn it off to that side port and then you put the little cap on that and now that is a locked side port that is now like locked off. And then I thought that was I thought you had this you turned had out the, the other one. one. I did initially to hold it so that it doesn't so that it, the pathway is from the pressure bag and then out to the side port. Uh huh. And now you turn the side port off, so now you've got a pathway open through. Okay. Okay. So the next one it's gonna be able to flow through too is this one. So you take that white cap off, you turn it off to the distal end again. So now you got the proximal end connected to the side port. Mm -hmm. You pull a squeegee again and you let it flow until you get to literally any time now. It looked like it was supposed to come off. Yeah. Did it? There you go. Yeah. So you got now flow there and then you can turn that port off and cap it with that. And then you've got your distal-ish, distal -ist port. And then you just pull and, and then you're done. Um, so then you can just like, I guess, recap it with this thing for the moment. So that's just all the priming stuff. So that's now all that the priming prime. stuff. And then now that it's primed, this is ready to go and be connected to the patient's A-line. And then after that, done. the zeroing After portion. that is the zero. So the zeroing part is a little bit kind of trickier, but what you do is you find your way to the, um, thing here, which I believe should be second or third alarm. Yeah, so it's the third screen down here. This is zero button, you hit zero, and then it should, when it's connected, it'll say like zero ABP. And so what you would wanna do is make sure that this portion specifically is at the height of the patient's heart, and then you would turn it, uh, uh, sorry, you would turn it off uh, to the patient, I believe. Yeah, you um, have zero the line, so right. keep it at, mm -hmm. Um, and then you would open this to atmosphere, and then you would hit uh, zero ABP. Um, See, this is the hard part of my mind. It. Um, yeah, and then uh, you would have to- How do you do it? Way. You, you, turn it off, done you turn off the patient, you zero. And right, you right, right. Oh, yeah, that's right, because you don't open this. You just like, you just, just turn it also off. also that this is all just like open to the air. So you turn, so it, off that you turn it off to the patient, so you turn it off to the patient so that the blood doesn't shoot back out their A-line and up into the system. Okay. And then you allow this circuit to be connected to just the atmosphere, and that grabs the zero pressure from the atmosphere at the level of the heart, and then you close this off, turn this back, and now it's connected to the patient, and so now it's reading the patient. It should immediately show you waveforms, and it takes a second for the blood pressure to actually show yeah. up. Okay. But you'll see the waveforms anytime, like before you zero it. It just won't be that. accurate. It'll just be like either That part's not that hard. That priming part's not right, too exactly. terribly hard. No, it's just, it's just remembering which way to do it. It's just remembering that. which way to do yeah. it. So what was that that you just did? 
Not that I just, I just oh, oh, oh. connected it a little tighter. Um, and then if you wanted to draw blood, you can actually just turn this side this if you got really this part video. connected. What's that? Nothing. I said this can be a really good video. <laughs> or, just or, or a really terrible <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your face is going to show up. So like, that's fine. It's all good. <laughs> I have some somewhat identifying marks on camera right now. Um, so if you wanted to draw blood, then you would typically, um, this would be connected to the patient. So you turn this off to the system and on to the patient. You open the side port and you can draw out like a test, uh, like a like a waste right, thing, and then right. you draw out like the actual uh, arterial gas, and then close it off, close this, and then you just like open this, and it like flushes down from the pressure up here, it just opens that pressure into the patient. So tell me again why we need to put this blue one up, cap on there? Because they don't have holes in the middle one, so if we switch this back out. It'll and whereas now you can just stick the needle in there and for like this, and so this is for then blood, I like blood drops. open this. This is gonna it's gonna leak out. It's gonna leak potentially out. leak out or something. Yeah, oh, okay. which apparently it doesn't actually do. No. Oh yeah, sorry, that's a fair point. You know, that's yeah, that's reasonable enough. So there, and it's got an actual hole in it, which is not ideal. I see. You missed everything. Messy done. See. Good thing it's gonna be on YouTube okay, or something. The end. The end. Cool. Thanks, man. Totally.